When you get a pipe in to do a failure analysis, the first thing you have to do is do an overall analysis, get a, a general feel for what causes the failure. Once you start with that material, you uh, can find a, you look for an origin, you determine what's, what's, uh, where the origin is. With the origin, you can figure out what the cause of the failure is, and once you have the cause of the failure, then you can determine where to go from there. Once you have the cause and you've, un and you've addressed the specific cause of that failure, you can look at how that fits into the rest of the pipeline. If the pipeline is 100 miles long, has this, has this particular damage possible at another location? Maybe there's corrosion at another location. Maybe they've had construction at another location and there's potential for damage at another location. So you can take an individual rupture or, or, or failure and determine how likely it is to have another cause. And that's when you want to go into a, an analysis where we can develop the integrity management program in order to address other issues. Those uh, analyses can take a lot of forms. They can take the form of destructive testing to figure out what the potential for failure is given a certain size of flaw. You can determine the factors that go into causing that failure and then look for those same factors along the pipeline in order to do an integrity assessment. Once you have that, then you can develop a program to try to minimize risk in the future by uh, predicting those places where those things can happen again and eliminating those possibilities. You can also help the operators uh, develop repair methodologies. How do they repair the pipeline? You understand why it fails, then you can go in and develop a, a remediation program in order to reduce the possibility of failures in the future. The first thing you have to understand is the origin, and experience tells you how to find an origin, what you're looking for. And once you find the origin, you need to look at why the origin is important. So you, your experience offers you the opportunity to sort out all of those different variables in order to figure out how to determine the cause of the failure. Experience also tells you where to look for those problems along the pipeline in the future. When you're doing the integrity management program or the, the assessment in the future, understanding or, or having experience tells you where to look for those problems again. Vintage pipelines um, are essentially defined as something that's older than about 50 years. Vintage pipelines uh, were constructed using different, different construction processes, different practices, and those practices induced certain kinds of systemic problems in pipelines. So if you understand how the pipeline is manufactured, how the pipeline is constructed, then you know what to look for in the construction practice. The same thing as when the pipe is manufactured. They've manufactured pipe uh, via a whole raft of different techniques. There's different welding techniques in the long seam weld, and, the, and some of those welding techniques are better than others. The uh, ones that are poor quality, if you see those in the pipeline, you know that that's a potential problem and you need to look for those kinds of problems in other locations along the pipeline. So understanding how the vintage pipeline is manufactured gives you an idea where to look for those problems and try to remediate those problems. Understanding how they're made and where they're at also gives you an understanding of what you need to do to fix those problems or make them safe for the future. So understanding all of those variables is very important in doing a failure analysis and in addressing the integrity threat.